Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can query facts and dimension tables in database SQL. Essentially, we're going to calculate total revenue by product for the first quarter of 2016 with value greater than a million. So let's get started. First, I'm going to come to the compute and I'm going to use the SQL warehouse serverless compute. So I've got the serverless starter warehouse that is running and I'm going to come to the unit catalog and show you the three namespace data. So I'm going to click on the sales tracker catalog that contains the DIN account manager, DIN customer, DIN payment type and the DIN product including the facts sales table now i want to focus on today on the dim product and the fact sales so in the dim product i've got this product table and in the fact sales i've got the sales table so let's go ahead and open the sql editor and then we can click on this tab this plus to create a new query so we're going to just type in a comment before we write the code so i'm going to come in and use two dashes and then we're going to type in total revenue by product for the first quarter of 2016 with value greater than a million okay so we're going to use this as our guide as we construct the SQL. So we have the total revenue for product for the first quarter of year 2016 with value greater than a million. So we're going to use the common table expression CTE that allows us to write an efficient and easy to read code. So I'm going to type in weight and I'm going to name this total rev by product. And then we're going to use the ask keyword and press the tab key, press enter. Now I can go on and provide the column. So I want to start with by writing the select and I'm going to indent this code as we move along to write a very neat code. So first, I need the product ID. So I'm going to type in product ID column and then press comma, press enter. We need the product name itself, put in a comma, and I'm going to press enter. Now, we're going to use the sum function twice because in our data, when you come to the sales tracker catalog and I come to the DIM product table and I expand the columns in the product table, you're going to see that we have the cost column and the price column in this product table. And then we have the unit column in the sales table of the F sales schema of our catalog. So this is what I'm talking about. Can you see we have the unit column? So we're going to find a way to, you know, work around the price and the cost across the unit. So I'm going to use the sum function here. So I'm going to type in sum function. Now I want to take the units column first, multiply by the price that is coming from the separate table. And I'm going to use minus again. I need another sum function, open the bracket. I'm going to take the unit column, multiply by the cost. Now, I'm going to just close the bracket on the side and then open another one on the side. So this is going to be encapsulated inside this open, open and close bracket. So I'm going to use the as to provide a name. So I'm going to call this one total revenue. And this is lovely. I can press enter, press the back button. So I'm going to provide the name of the table. So this is going to be the sales tracker catalog. And they want to point to the fact sales and they want to access the sales table and I'm going to press enter and I can use the inner join so now the intelligence is working absolutely magical so I'm going to press the tab key which allows me to write this code much much easier so we have the name of the catalog and then we have the dot then product schema and then we have the product table so I'm going to alias this now I'm going to type in P representing product and I'm going to type in F representing fact sales so we're going to use the aliases in the respective columns in our select so I'm going to come here and type in P because the product ID is going to be coming from the product table and then the product name is going to be coming from the same product table so now the unit is going to be coming from the fact table so and i'm going to alias this as p the price coming from the product table so i'm going to do the same thing here i'm going to type in f dot and i'm going to type 
in uh, p dot so we have used the aliases in the respective column so i'm going to continue the code so i'm going to use the on keyword and then for the on keyword i can type in the f dot product id where it is equal to p dot product id and then we can use the where cross here so now our focus is to only calculate for the first quarter of 2016 and we can see this intelligence working amazingly i'm going to press the tab key and there we go i'm just working through this quickly now we have the order date that's coming from the fact table and then we are using the year function to extract the year internally so where the year from this order date column is equal to 2016 and we have the month function now the month function is going to return the 1 to 12 representing january to december so this is also coming from the order date column and then we are checking whether this is less than or equal to three so we are focusing on the first quarter okay so this is going to be april uh, january february march so this is working fine and then we can focus on this part where the value that is where this total revenue is greater than a million so for that we're going to use the Avin plus so i'm going to press enter and begin to type in the Avin, and then i can select that and i can provide the total revenue greater than in this case one million not two million so i'm going to just modify that and that is it so i'm going to come here press enter and i'm going to use the select star from this total rev by product cte name so let's do that select star from total or let me just copy this okay yeah this is detected i can press the tab key or let me just copy it from here ctrl c and let me get rid of this and i'm going to just ctrl v so i can even use the order by so i can order by the total revenue in descending or ascending order we're going to order it in descending order so you can see we have the total underscore revenue and then we are ordering that in a descending order that is from largest to smallest now we're not going to use the limit as this has been suggested so i'm just going to end that here and then i can go ahead and run the code now by the way this is incorrect this should be uh, p not o i'm not sure why we have o there so this should be p and this should be p there shouldn't be any on the line if there's any on the line that tells you there is an error to fix now let me just move this down a little bit and then we can run the code well, now we don't even need to select just be in in between here just press Control enter okay so here we go we have the result so this is the total revenue for the product name and then we have the product id so these are the total revenue that is greater than a million what about if we want to see the revenue that is greater than or equal to maybe two million i'm going to come here just modify this and i'm going to turn this to two and then i can select the code or i can even come here control enter to run and let's see the results okay amazing so in this case we have three rows so these are just the product the bmw bentley and porsche that is greater than two million what about if we want to see this uh, greater than two million for the first and the second quarter i can come here and make changes i'm going to make this to be six and i can come back here and press Control enter to run the code and let's see now in this case we have nine rows so these are all the product so this is how we can query the fact and dimension tables in unity catalog of that bricks i trust you enjoyed this video if you do like comment share follow me for more videos thank you for watching bye for now